So I was born in El Paso, Texas, on the border with Mexico. I come from Mexican background. I was able to really grow up with two different cultures. Being on the border and coming from a medical background gave me a huge advantage to really understand not only how the world works from different uh, viewpoints, but also the ability to see medicine in a underprivileged area. My father is a physician and my mother is an accountant. We were instilled at a very young age, both my older sister and my younger brother, that family is probably one of the most important things in life. To this day, we see each other on a, on a frequent basis, and I truly believe that a lot of my success comes from the, from the teachings that I have uh, from my parents, as well as the support that my siblings offer me. I had the advantage of being able to see medicine firsthand when I was young. I saw my first open heart surgery when I was 10 years old and just it instilled a passion in me that I could never have seen myself doing anything else. At that young age, it gave me the benefit to really direct my life and my career in that one path and gave me a huge advantage to be able to do what I do now at such a young age. Plastic surgery for me was a process. It uh, afforded me the ability to work with people that are young and old and operate on all parts of the body, something that gave me the variability and the ability to hone my skills on the details of what is considered the art of plastic surgery. I truly believe that beauty is rooted in somebody's character. I think that beauty changes with time and it differs from culture to culture. The advantage of being in Miami gives me the ability to learn from all these different cultures and to perform surgeries that achieve what people's own definition of beauty is. I think celebrities are humans just like anyone else. I think it's important to realize that we need to treat everybody the same. So when I do have celebrity clients, uh, it doesn't make me feel any different as I like to treat all my patients as if they were a family member. I think my biggest challenge as a surgeon has definitely been uh, separating out the emotional aspect of what we do. Uh, because we sometimes deal with some hardships and we want to make sure that we don't take those to the point that they can affect our personal lives. The Alvarez Foundation really focuses on education. We offer scholarships to underprivileged uh, kids as well as young professionals who are seeking a career to better their lives. I do turn down potential patients and sometimes it's more frequent than others but mostly it has to do with understanding expectations and measuring out what can and cannot be attained. I think that the most important aspect of choosing a surgeon is understanding what they can provide for you as a patient but also as a surgeon it's really important to choose patients that can understand what you can provide for them. Miami is probably one of the most well-known international cities that the U.S. has. By sheer statistics, it's probably the busiest for cosmetic surgery. And it was that fascination of being on the forefront of cosmetic surgery and the ability to learn among the diverse group of people that are found in Miami was the main influencer for me personally to come to Miami. I'm very honored to be a plastic surgeon and to be a plastic surgeon in Miami at the age of 34 because I have a whole life ahead of me and I feel very blessed and um, in a position to make a big difference. I have time, I have um, a wonderful career that I look forward to making a, a, a big impact in.
My practice focuses on developing relationships. I want to take my time getting to know my patients and allowing my patients to feel like they can understand who I am and what I can do for them. The most important advice that I could give somebody choosing plastic surgery would be to find somebody they feel comfortable with. Not only their medical background and training, which is very important to choose somebody who is board certified by the American Board of Plastic Surgery, but also the fact that somebody who can understand what their desires are and can be honest and upfront about what can be achieved and the expectations can be met. I think plastic surgery has evolved here in the United States and not necessarily for the good. I think partially here in the United States we've cheapened and seen the ugly side of plastic surgery over the last decade. Part of this has to do with what we see on TV, but I think we are starting to see a lot on the perspective of botched plastic surgery. And I think that we have an opportunity here to redirect the image of plastic surgery to a positive one and one that really focuses on natural, beautiful results. The most embarrassing song on my playlist would probably be Justin Bieber. <laughs> A few of them. <laughs> I am single and ready to mingle. <laughs> I spend a lot of my free time traveling. I do that because it helps me recenter myself uh, and it also gives me an opportunity to see other parts of the world and interact with people from different backgrounds and I think that's one of the things that I learned from my parents at such a young age was learning comes from experience and learning comes from getting out in the world and having an open mind. Probably Africa. I went to Tanzania and Kenya and it was one of the most majestic places I've ever been in my in all my travels. There is something there about the beauty of the natural wildlife and the efforts that the local population is doing to protect that wildlife that really, you know, stayed with me after that trip. Oh! <laughs> um, I come from a family of, of hard-working, humble Mexican immigrants. That's it? Oh, I'm better in the afternoon, huh? <laughs>